All right, Joey, obviously not the uh, the result you guys wanted uh, on the weekend, but looking forward ahead, what does that do for the motivation against San Diego? Yeah, it also uh, obviously um, fuels a little fire for us. Um, every time we go out, we try and get three points. It doesn't matter if we're home or away. Uh, as a team, we like to grow, and, and obviously we're only two games into a long season, so we, we have to use it as a learning experience and, and use it to, to build off of. Um, we didn't get a result, but we competed hard, and we got to – we got to know that teams are going to look for us on their schedule. Every team we play is going to kind of have a target for us because we've we've been at the top of the league for a few years now. So we have to be ready for every team's best game. Um, and I think that's something that the team kind of took away from that game. Looking at those two goals that you conceded, where do you think things went wrong defensively? Yeah, it's just um, whenever you concede a goal, it's always one or two simple mistakes that turn into the other team capitalizing. and. I think the first goal, it was just a, a little a little turnover in the midfield, and we tried to recover as quickly as, as we could, but it was a quick 2v1. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily the whole field transition. Um, and then the second goal, it was uh, a little flick on that, that we, we need to either win the first ball or destroy the play and, and make, either cause a foul or, or, or something on the second ball, um, and we didn't do either. And then they came down the middle and scored again. Um, besides that, I think, I think we didn't make – too many mistakes. I think I think they just capitalized on the two that we we really did, and um, they punished us. And knowing how you know aggressive the, the full backs are under Rick's system, mm -hmm. what kind of added pressure does that put on you guys and your centre backs in defensive transition? Yeah, well, um, we always try and keep it organized, whether we have the outside backs with us or whether it be a midfielder like Lambert or Quinn. Um, so we always try and keep certain numbers and, and find, our, uh, find our marks early um, so that we can stop the play before they even get the first touch or connect the first pass. That, that makes it the easiest. Once they connect that, then there's times where you just have to recover and uh, trust that your teammates are going to make the runs back and, and, and help you out as well. Is there any difference in you know how you approach things when you've got Manu next to you as opposed to James? Uh, defensively, um, not really. We we all kind of have the same values as as players defensively, as as an organization defensively, and that's being strong, being physical, um, and and as center backs in, in particularly, kind of organizing those around us. Um, Manu, James, they both do a great job with it. Um, so no, I think they're both great players and they both bring certain skill sets to the game. So it's, it's a joy playing next to either one. You guys are undefeated here at Wild Horse Pass. What do you attribute that to and what will it take to continue the streak inside? Yeah, I, uh, I attribute that to a lot of things. Obviously, um, our facilities are amazing. Uh, the, the organization has done a great job preparing us and, and giving us the best in the league, in my opinion. Um, so being able to train with our, our weights, with our, our practice fields, everything we have involved, the ice bath, everything, really gets us prepared for, for that match on Saturday. Um, and then beyond that, once you hear the roar of the fans, the banditos, everyone involved, it really gets you going. It gives you the chills a little bit and, and get, it gets your, um, your heart rate up and it gives you that little extra motivation to, to make that, that extra run or, or connect that final pass, score that goal. These next two weekends will be you playing against the teams that made the playoffs last year. Yeah. What kind of a step up do you think it's going to take from those? Yeah, absolutely. We have to um, we have to definitely be prepared mentally. Um, the coaching staff does a great job preparing us physically and tactically every week. It doesn't matter who we're playing um, with the video and kind of the, the practices leading up to the games. They do a great job uh, preparing us tactically and physically. We just have to make sure that we're ready for each team's best game, as I said earlier. And... Um, that doesn't change. Uh, we definitely have to be ready for a higher level uh, going against two playoff teams. But playing against Vegas, they came out and they, they were young and, and, and they had a lot of energy and they gave us trouble. So we have to be ready for every team's best game. And no game in this, in this league is going to be easy. So we have to be ready for everyone's fight and be, be willing to fight back. What do you think is the biggest threat that San Diego will pose? I think their their tactics are, are unique. Um, they like to keep the ball a lot, and they do um, open the field up with their spacing. Um, so I think for us, learning from last year, it was kind of once we were able to limit them to kind of the flanks, that helped us a lot. Um, the first game, they, they were able to find uh, uh, the first game away, I'm, I'm thinking of, they were able to find um, kind of that underneath, uh, underneath pocket behind the midfield in front of our back four. Um, so I think that's kind of what we're going to focus on. and. Uh, that's always an area that you want to snuff out from, from any team. Um, so being able to limit that and kind of push it to one, one flank or the other will really help us defensively.